Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these waffles. Now these waffles are super tasty, so let's get to it. The things you will need for these waffles are milk or water, cinnamon, nutmeg, and any spices of your choice, and the box waffles of your choice. I'm using Aunt Jemima's. I'm going to start off with the powder. Now I used four half cups of the powder. You can use however many you want. This just provided one waffle and an extra square for me and my sister. I'm going to have a half cup of milk. Sometimes you'll need more. It just depends on the consistency. Now the consistency you want to be like a smooth paste but not too chunky but it also shouldn't be so thin to where it's like water. can start by adding your spices. I used a lot of cinnamon sugar, about a tablespoon, and some cinnamon. Now you're going to mix all together until it forms a consistency like this. There might be some chunks, but if you keep mixing and thoroughly folding it in, it will reduce the amount of chunks inside. I added in more cinnamon. That was just a personal preference. You can add in however much you please. I just like having a bunch of cinnamon and spices. It makes the waffles taste a lot better in my opinion. But then again, it's also a personal preference. So next you're going to grab your waffle maker. Now I plugged mine in for about three minutes and let it heat up a bit. And so once you do that, you're just going to take some butter and place it inside. You can use a little bit of olive oil. I just used a little square of a stick of butter. I am with my little square of a stick of butter. This is about a tablespoon of butter. And I'm just placing it in the grooves, letting it melt so that none of the waffle batter gets stuck in the creases and then the waffle falls apart. This is important because it just makes the waffle come off the grill a lot easier. So I'm just going to place it in all the little squares until it starts to sizzle off. So I'm going in with a scooper, an ice cream scooper, and I'm just scooping four chunks of batter and placing them in the four corners. Now after I do this, I will spread it out just so it's all the way even, but you just wanna make sure that you put enough batter for each of the squares and the corners to be completely filled with batter. went in with a utensil and I smeared all the batter so it's an even circle and I didn't want to see any of the black chunks that meant that the grill was being seen. So you just want to do this so there's no holes in your waffle in the middle of it or in the corners. Now that I've completely smeared all of it in a complete circle, I'm going to close the lid and twist it. Now this all depends on what type of waffle maker you have. Mine requires you to twist it and then hold it. Now I like to put my waffles in for two to three minutes and they come out looking like this. Now is the fun part. Now that you've got your waffle, you can go ahead and top it off. I'm topping it off with some yummy syrup. Ooh, that looks so delicious. And then I'm going to go in with some yummy whipped cream. Coconut milk whipped cream to be exact since I'm a lactose intolerant. This is the final product. I added in syrup on top and whipped cream. You can also add strawberries or whatever you please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.